This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Get two months free trial from the video description. Hello, it's Mike from Pixavu. Today, you will learn how to convert photos into a cartoon character effect in Photoshop. With the same technique, you can get very different variations like this. Please like the video and let's get started. Step 1. Prepare your image. First, open your image from File, Open. After opening your image, click on this little lock icon to unlock it. Now right-click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Rename it Before. Now let's check our image size. You should check both image size and resolution, since there are very critical factors when dealing with filters. Let's see why. Here are three results with three different resolutions. The optimal result here is around 2000 pixels. So let's change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch and also change our image width or height to a value between 1500 to 2500 pixels. Since height is the smallest value, I will change it to 1500 pixels. And let's move on to the next step. Step 2. Create the effect. First, Select your layer, then press Ctrl and J to duplicate it once. Change its name to Effect. And with your layer selected, go to the Filter menu and choose Liquify. This updated Liquify filter is available in Photoshop CC 2015.5 and above. If your filter doesn't look like this, you'll need to install a newer version of Photoshop or just skip this part but it won't give you a good result as mine. As you can see, Photoshop can detect the faces in your image. And for each face, it gives you some settings so that you can manipulate it very efficiently. Now, let's start by adjusting the eyes settings. Click on these little icons to link both two eyes together. Change eye size by moving the slider like that. Change eye height. Also, Eye Width and Eye Tilt and even Eye Distance. You can increase both Nose Height and Width like that. And regarding the mouth, I will only increase both upper and lower lip sizes to 100 and minus 100. Now let's move to the most important part. You can control the face forehead height and the chin height, as you can see. Also, the jawline width. And finally, the face width. Please note that you don't have to copy my values. Just keep moving sliders and see what will fit your needs. Let's see the before and after. That's cool. Now click OK. As you can see, since we're working on a smart object, all filters will be applied as smart filters like that. Now select your layer, then go open the filter gallery. Under the artistic folder, choose the poster edge filter. Change edge thickness to zero, edge intensity to zero, and posterization to two. This should divide your image skin tone into different levels like that. Now click OK. Now go to Filter, Sharpen, and choose Unsharp Mask. Change amount to 90%. Radius to 5 pixels. And Threshold to 10 levels. This will increase your image overall sharpness. Now, with the same layer selected, Let's apply the Oil Paint Filter. You will find it under Stylize menu. And for the older versions of Photoshop, you'll find it right here. Now, let's open it. Change Stylization to 4. Cleanliness to 3. 
scale to 0.1, and bristle details, 0. And finally, uncheck lightning, then click OK. This will give you a very nice oil paint effect. You may find some difficulties with the oil paint filter. Please check this video description for a solution. I need to sharpen my image again. Let's apply the unsharp mask filter. But this time, change amount to 60. Keep radius 5 and change threshold to 5. Click OK and let's move on to the next step. Step 3. Add outlines and adjustments. Select the before layer and duplicate it once with Ctrl and J. Drag that duplicated layer to the top like that. Rename it Outlines. Now, hold the Alt key, then drag the liquify filter from the bottom layer and drop it on the Outlines layer to paste it there. Hide and unhide the filter if you have some lag like mine. Now we're good. Select the Outlines layer and go and open the Filter Gallery. Under Artistic Folder, choose the Poster Edges filter again. Change its value to 0, 3 and 6. Then click OK. This will add some black outlines to the overall image. Select the Outlines layer and let's reapply the Oil Paint filter again. Keep values as previous, then click OK. This will soften the overall black edges. Now change the blend mode to overlay and decrease the opacity to a value below 50%. In my case, 40% does a great job for me. As you can see, the outlines layer gives it a very good cartoony feel to the final effect. Now collapse both layers, then select the top one. Press Alt and Control and Shift and E to add a flattened image of all visible layers to a new one. Name it High Pass. Then go and apply the High Pass filter from the other menu. Change radius to 2 pixels, then click OK. I have some colors here that would add some noise to the final result. To desaturate them, just select the High Pass layer. And from Image, go to Adjustments and choose Desaturate. Now change Blend Mode to Overlay. As you can see, the High Pass filter with Overlay can be used to boost your image details. Now select the top layer, hold the Shift key and select the third layer to select all three layers. Drag and drop on the group icon to group them. Now let's see the before and after. That's great! Before moving to the last step, let's talk about our today's sponsor. Skillshare is basically a huge online community where you can learn almost anything you want. They have tons of premium classes about graphic design, photography, illustration, filmmaking, freelancing, business and much more. There are thousands of classes for Photoshop only. I really like this Adobe Photoshop CC advanced training course for Daniel Scott. It has a lot of information that I really don't know much more about it. Also, he has another great course for beginners. Almost 8 hours of premium content. No matter what your skill level is, there is absolutely something here for you. Sign up from the link in the description to get 2 months free trial. Now, let's get back to our tutorial. Final step, extra tips. First tip, you can add some adjustment layers to adjust your final image tone, like levels, color balance, and vibrance. Second one, since we're working with smart objects, you can change your image size to control the final effect density. For example, change resolution to 800 pixels. This would make the effect less detailed like this. And by increasing your image size to 2200 pixels, you can get a very detailed effect like this. Third tip, you can reapply the whole effect on any image with a couple of clicks. Just open any smart object, add your image in there, 
save it with Ctrl and S. And the effect will be reapplied without doing all the previous steps again. That's it for today. Please like the video and subscribe for more free tutorials. Thanks for watching.